Max Evans has finished in third place in tonight's Dancing on Ice Live final. His professional partner Rayliz Quirdo looked inconsolable and was left in floods of tears after the result was read out. The rugby union player was agonizingly close to reaching the final two and missed out on performing the famous Bolaro. The skaters had practiced the routine all week but unfortunately the public won't get to watch it. Speaking about his time on the show, Max said, I can't tell you what a special feeling this journey has been. Ail wears her heart on her sleeve, she's been awesome. The people I've met on this journey have been incredible. He added, can I just say thank you to all the people that have supported us. Friends, family, my girlfriend, my brother, my mum. Brooke Vincent and Jake Quick Andon will go on to skate to Jane Torville and Christopher Dean's Olympic gold-winning performance. The pair were champions at the Sarajevo 1984 Winter Olympics after skating to Morris Ravel's piece. The first departure of the evening came after controversy was sparked by the lack of judges' scores that infuriated viewers. In a controversial change to proceedings the judges were not giving any scores to finalists Max Evans, Brooke Vincent and Jake Quickenden. The public vote alone will determine who wins the skating competition, but in a seemingly lat minute change the judges will only be able to deliver their comments. Fans of the show complained that all the tension was sucked out after being promised the scores would be there for guidance. Earlier in the day, Professional skater Matt Evers revealed the judges would still be scoring despite it not counting towards the result. He said, Now the twist is you get to choose who wins. So you've got to vote for your favorites tonight. Those judges' scores are just for guidance this evening so who cares what Jason says? But there were no scores to be seen as the judges went straight to their comments rather than revealing their scores. Angry viewers complained that this denied the celebs who hadn't already got perfect tens from achieving the top mark. After Brooke's second dance, a repeat of her favorite from the series, presenter Philip Schofield said the lack of scores was guted. Phil said, It's a shame the judges aren't scoring tonight as I'm sure you would have got your tens. While Ashley Banjo said Brooke may gain an advantage from the lack of scores as her marks were historically lower. Annoyed viewers took to Twitter to complain about the lack of scoring. One viewer complained, they've really sucked all tension and interest out of this by not having any scores. Another added, the judges aren't even giving scores? Well that's a bit stupid. So nobody else can even try to get tens now. A third said, surprise the judges aren't even giving scores just for guidance. I hate relying on a 100% public vote. Mirror TV has contacted Dancing on Ice for comment. The Dancing on Ice final airs tonight on ITV at 6 p.m.